Welcome to this transformative self-coaching program designed to help you navigate and heal the belief. I am not allowed to make mistakes. The goal of this program is to guide you through a process of understanding, reframing, and healing this pattern and belief. Note. This program may evoke strong emotions. Important. Once you start using the program, ensure you complete it to the end and follow all instructions in order to completely calm your emotional state. By proceeding, you accept and take full responsibility for your emotional well-being. This is a self-coaching tool and not a replacement for medical advice or therapy. How to use this program? Use this program when you can sit quietly and comfortable in privacy. Earphones are recommended, though not mandatory. If using your phone or computer, we recommend that you play the video on full screen. You can vary the speed without affecting the effectiveness of the program. Before using this program, we recommend you watch the separate tutorial on how to use EMDR and F-tapping on our YouTube channel. Pre-assessment. Before we begin, take a moment to assess and jot down your current emotional state. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your current level of emotional state as pertains this pattern? Also, what are your expectations from this program? How does it work? An EMDR ball or pattern with bilateral sound has started playing on your video screen. The healing mechanism of this program depends on you keeping your eyes on the movements of the ball or patterns on screen. So follow the movement of the ball, pattern and other visual cues on the screen throughout the program while listening to the audio. EMDR, or eye movement desensitization and reprocessing, is proven to help the mind and body heal from trauma or other distressing life experiences. It will assist in the processing of thoughts, feelings and beliefs to ease your emotional state about the pattern and help you deal better with it. If your mind starts to wander, gently redirect your focus back to the moving ball or pattern. Optionally, if your focus can accommodate it, you can also tap on one or more EFT tapping points to enhance your healing experience. Choose a point that feels comfortable, like the karate chop or collarbone. Are you ready? Let's dive in. We'll begin by identifying the challenge you're facing and explore its associated feelings in Section 1. Consult your inner coach in Section 2, and envision new possibilities in Section 3. Finally, we'll bridge these insights to create a way for a more empowered you. Let's get started. Section 1. Unpacking emotional experiences. We begin with a setup of the issue. Even though I struggle with this pattern, I am open to a more empowering state of being. Take a deep breath. I feel like I'm constantly walking on eggshells, afraid to make even the smallest mistake. I believe that making mistakes means I am a failure. I constantly tell myself that I must be perfect in everything I do. I live in fear of criticism and judgment from others for my mistakes. I think that others will see me as incompetent if I make a mistake. I feel immense pressure to perform flawlessly at all times. I believe that my worth is tied to my ability to avoid mistakes. I am haunted by past mistakes and worry they will define me. I feel unworthy of forgiveness or understanding when I err. I avoid trying new things for fear of failing. I am overly critical of myself when I make even minor errors. I feel isolated because I can't share my struggles with mistakes. I believe that I must hide my faults to be accepted. I am constantly anxious about slipping up. I feel like a disappointment when I make mistakes. I think that mistakes are proof of my inadequacy. I avoid taking risks to prevent potential errors. I believe that others are constantly judging my every move. I feel trapped by my need to be perfect. I see mistakes as catastrophic events that ruin everything. I feel powerless because I can't always control outcomes. I worry that my mistakes will have irreversible consequences. I believe that I'm the only one who struggles with imperfection. I am scared of being vulnerable due to potential mistakes. I feel like my true self is not good enough. I believe that perfection is the only path to success. I feel extreme guilt over my past errors. I think that every mistake diminishes my value. I am burdened by the weight of needing to be error-free. I see my mistakes as barriers to achieving my dreams. I feel that I am constantly under a microscope. I believe that one mistake can ruin my entire future. I feel like I am my own worst critic. I am terrified of the consequences of my errors. I think that I must conceal my flaws to be loved. Section 2. Balance Perspectives from Your Inner Coach. This will help soothe your emotional state. Maintain your focus on the EMDR screen, following the movements of the shape or pattern with your eyes. I warmly acknowledge my fear of making mistakes, and I accept it with kindness. I embrace my belief of failure when I err, 
understanding it's a part of my experience. I gently recognize my desire for perfection and hold space for this part of me. I compassionately acknowledge my fear of criticism and judgment, and I hold it tenderly. I accept the thought of others seeing me as incompetent with understanding and empathy. I lovingly recognize the immense pressure I put on myself to be flawless. I tenderly accept my belief that my worth is linked to my perfection. I lovingly hold my past mistakes, knowing they do not define me. I compassionately acknowledge my feelings of unworthiness for forgiveness. I understand and embrace my fear of trying new things. I gently accept my critical self-view over minor errors. I lovingly acknowledge my feeling of isolation in my struggles. I empathetically hold my belief that I must hide my faults to be accepted. I compassionately recognize my constant anxiety about making mistakes. I accept my feelings of disappointment in myself with kindness. I gently hold my belief that mistakes are proof of inadequacy. I lovingly accept my avoidance of risks to prevent errors. I acknowledge with empathy my belief of others' judgment. I embrace my feeling of being trapped by the need for perfection. I gently hold the view of mistakes as catastrophic events with compassion. I acknowledge my feeling of powerlessness and offer it understanding. I compassionately accept my worry about irreversible consequences of mistakes. I lovingly hold my belief of being alone in my struggle with imperfection. I tenderly accept my fear of vulnerability due to potential mistakes. I compassionately embrace the feeling that my true self is not good enough. I understand and accept my belief that perfection is the only path to success. I hold my guilt over past errors in a space of gentle understanding. I lovingly acknowledge the thought that each mistake diminishes my value. I empathetically hold the burden of needing to be error-free. I tenderly accept my view of mistakes as barriers to my dreams. I gently hold my feeling of being constantly scrutinized with compassion. I lovingly accept the belief that one mistake can ruin my future. I acknowledge my role as my own worst critic with gentle acceptance. I compassionately hold my terror of the consequences of errors. I lovingly accept the thought that I must conceal my flaws to be loved. Section 3. Visualizing. Positive change. Take a deep breath. I am choosing now to see mistakes as opportunities for growth and learning. I am open to the idea that making mistakes is a natural part of learning and doesn't define my entire worth. I can start embracing my imperfections and see them as unique aspects of my journey. It is possible that my mistakes can lead to constructive feedback and personal development. I am willing to explore the concept that others' views do not determine my competence. I have the opportunity to understand that striving for excellence is more realistic than seeking perfection. I am capable of recognizing that my worth is inherent, not based on my performance. I embrace the idea of learning from past mistakes instead of being haunted by them. I am ready to accept forgiveness and understanding from myself when I err. I am beginning to see that trying new things, even with the risk of failing, enriches my life. I am receptive to being kinder to myself over minor mistakes. I am shifting towards sharing my struggles and connecting with others empathetically. I am open-minded about showing my vulnerabilities and understanding that everyone has faults. I am allowing myself to accept that feeling anxious about mistakes is part of being human. I can imagine viewing myself with pride, even when things don't go as planned. I am choosing to focus on learning and growing from each mistake I make. I am open to the possibility of embracing calculated risks and learning from the outcomes. I can see the potential for using perceived judgments as motivation for self-improvement. I am becoming more aware of the freedom in accepting imperfection. I am starting to believe that mistakes are not the end, but part of the journey. I am ready to let go of the need for control and embrace life's unpredictability. I am exploring the idea of viewing mistakes as part of life's natural flow. I am creating space for the understanding that everyone struggles and I'm not alone. I am entertaining the thought of embracing vulnerability as a strength. I am willing to consider that my true self, with all its imperfections, is inherently worthy. I am opening myself up to the understanding that success comes in many forms, not just through perfection. I am reminding myself that guilt from past errors is a stepping stone to greater self-awareness. I am acknowledging the potential in seeing mistakes as a part of my unique value. I am inviting the possibility of feeling liberated from the pressure of being error-free. I am willing to shift my perspective on mistakes as stepping stones, not barriers. I can see the value in understanding that scrutiny is often more about others than myself. I am choosing to see the benefits of learning resilience through my experiences.
I am curious about how self-compassion can transform my self-criticism. I am embracing the opportunity to learn from consequences and grow stronger. I am considering different ways to show my authentic self and realize that being loved includes being imperfect. Section 4. Bridging the two worlds from emotion to aspiration. Remember to maintain your focus on the EMDR screen, following the movements of the shape or pattern with your eyes. Even though I feel like I'm constantly walking on eggshells, afraid to make even the smallest mistake, I warmly acknowledge this fear and accept it with kindness, and I am choosing now to see mistakes as opportunities for growth and learning. Although I believe that making mistakes means I am a failure, I embrace this belief with understanding, and I am open to the idea that making mistakes is a natural part of learning and doesn't define my entire worth. Even though I constantly tell myself that I must be perfect in everything I do, I gently recognize this desire for perfection and hold space for this part of me, and I can start embracing my imperfections and see them as unique aspects of my journey. Although I live in fear of criticism and judgment from others for my mistakes, I compassionately acknowledge this fear and hold it tenderly, and it is possible that my mistakes can lead to constructive feedback and personal development. Even though I think that others will see me as incompetent if I make a mistake, I accept this thought with understanding and empathy, and I am willing to explore the concept that others' views do not determine my competence. Although I feel immense pressure to perform flawlessly at all times, I lovingly recognize this pressure and understand it, and I have the opportunity to understand that striving for excellence is more realistic than seeking perfection. Even though I believe that my worth is tied to my ability to avoid mistakes, I tenderly accept this belief and recognize its part in my experience, and I am capable of recognizing that my worth is inherent, not based on my performance. Although I am haunted by past mistakes and worry they will define me, I lovingly hold these past mistakes, knowing they do not define me, and I embrace the idea of learning from them instead of being haunted by them. Even though I feel unworthy of forgiveness or understanding when I err, I compassionately acknowledge these feelings and offer them understanding, and I am ready to accept forgiveness and understanding from myself. Although I avoid trying new things for fear of failing, I understand and embrace this fear, and I am beginning to see that trying new things, even with the risk of failing, enriches my life. Even though I am overly critical of myself when I make even minor errors, I gently accept this critical self-view and hold it with kindness, and I am receptive to being kinder to myself over minor mistakes. Although I feel isolated because I can't share my struggles with mistakes, I lovingly acknowledge this feeling of isolation, and I am shifting towards sharing my struggles and connecting with others empathetically. Even though I believe that I must hide my faults to be accepted, I empathetically hold this belief and understand it, and I am open-minded about showing my vulnerabilities and understanding that everyone has faults. Although I am constantly anxious about slipping up, I compassionately recognize this anxiety as part of being human, and I am allowing myself to accept that feeling anxious about mistakes is part of being human. Even though I feel like a disappointment when I make mistakes, I accept these feelings with kindness, and I can imagine viewing myself with pride, even when things don't go as planned. Although I think that mistakes are proof of my inadequacy, I gently hold this belief and offer it compassion, and I am choosing to focus on learning and growing from each mistake I make. Even though I avoid taking risks to prevent potential errors, I lovingly accept this avoidance and understand its origins, and I am open to the possibility of embracing calculated risks and learning from the outcomes. Although I believe that others are constantly judging my every move, I acknowledge this belief with empathy, and I can see the potential for using perceived judgments as motivation for self-improvement. Even though I feel trapped by my need to be perfect, I embrace this feeling and offer it understanding, and I am becoming more aware of the freedom in accepting imperfection. Although I see mistakes as catastrophic events that ruin everything, I gently hold this view with compassion, and I am starting to believe that mistakes are not the end, but part of the journey. Even though I feel powerless because I can't always control outcomes, I acknowledge this feeling with understanding, and I am ready to let go of the need for control and embrace life's unpredictability. Although I worry that my mistakes will have irreversible consequences, I compassionately accept this worry and offer it understanding, and I am exploring the idea of viewing mistakes as part of life's natural flow. Even though I believe that I'm the only one who struggles with imperfection, I lovingly hold this belief and understand that everyone struggles, and I am creating space for the understanding that everyone struggles and I'm not alone. Although I am scared of being vulnerable due to potential mistakes, I tenderly accept this fear and recognize its depth, and I am entertaining the thought of embracing vulnerability as a strength. 
Even though I feel like my true self is not good enough, I compassionately embrace this feeling and understand its roots, and I am willing to consider that my true self, with all its imperfections, is inherently worthy. Although I believe that perfection is the only path to success, I understand and accept this belief with empathy, and I am opening myself up to the understanding that success comes in many forms, not just through perfection. Even though I feel extreme guilt over my past errors, I hold this guilt in a space of gentle understanding, and I am reminding myself that guilt from past errors is a stepping stone to greater self-awareness. Although I think that every mistake diminishes my value, I lovingly acknowledge this thought and offer it compassion, and I am acknowledging the potential in seeing mistakes as a part of my unique value. Even though I am burdened by the weight of needing to be error-free, I empathetically hold this burden and understand its impact, and I am inviting the possibility of feeling liberated from the pressure of being error-free. Although I see my mistakes as barriers to achieving my dreams, I tenderly accept this view and understand its influence, and I am willing to shift my perspective on mistakes as stepping stones, not barriers. Even though I feel that I am constantly under a microscope, I gently hold this feeling with compassion, and I can see the value in understanding that scrutiny is often more about others than myself. Although I believe that one mistake can ruin my entire future, I lovingly accept this belief and understand its power, and I am choosing to see the benefits of learning resilience through my experiences. Even though I feel like I am my own worst critic, I acknowledge this role with gentle acceptance, and I am curious about how self-compassion can transform my self-criticism. Although I am terrified of the consequences of my errors, I compassionately hold my terror and recognize its intensity, and I am embracing the opportunity to learn from consequences and grow stronger. Even though I think that I must conceal my flaws to be loved, I lovingly accept this thought and understand its origins, and I am considering different ways to show my authentic self and realize that being loved includes being imperfect. If you were tapping, you can stop tapping as we go into the final affirmations. Section 5. Empowering Affirmations for Transformation. These affirmations are designed to uplift your spirit, align you with your highest self, and resonate with the boundless love and support that the universe offers you. I am an embodiment of endless growth, embracing each experience with the wisdom of my highest self. I am a radiant source of love, fully accepting myself in all my imperfections and strengths. I am infinitely capable and resilient, transforming challenges into opportunities for growth. I am worthy and valuable, regardless of the mistakes I make or the successes I achieve. I am constantly evolving, and each step I take is guided by the loving embrace of the universe. I am a beacon of self-compassion, understanding that vulnerability is a strength, not a weakness. I am at peace with my past, present, and future, knowing each moment is a lesson in my journey. I am connected to a deep well of inner wisdom, guiding me to live authentically and courageously. I am a magnet for positive change, attracting experiences that nurture my growth and happiness. I am in harmonious alignment with the universe, trusting in its endless support and guidance. I am a vessel of unconditional love, both for myself and for others, radiating kindness in every interaction. I am the master of my own destiny, confidently navigating life with grace and empowerment. I am surrounded by an aura of calm assurance, knowing that every situation serves my highest good. I am a source of boundless creativity and innovation, inspired by every step of my unique path. I am a living testament to the power of transformation, constantly transcending my limits and embracing my true potential. Section 6. Closing and Next Steps. Take a deep, rejuvenating breath. Congratulations on completing this transformative session. Take a note of how you feel in comparison to how you started, and consider journaling your notes about this session and any areas you'd like to explore. Be attentive to the potential reduction in the emotional weight of certain memories and actual circumstance shifts in your daily life. Note that it may take one, several or many uses of this program to completely clear the pattern and beliefs. This program and affirmations serve to fortify your inner journey toward a more empowered state. Feel free to revisit them whenever you need to. For more details, see the link in the bio or description below.